And I will start here with the story of the CMET inhibition. If you recall, CMET inhibition was actually something that uh, was very hot after we uh, had the uh, first 2007 with the sorafenib, as we heard from uh, Peter, then there was a lot of excitement about CMAT, and if anything, lymvatinib came into play and cabozantinib came into play. And interestingly, lymvatinib, uh, I correct myself, uh, 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 tivantinib uh, came into play versus cabo is an, a different study. And the tivantinib actually study, randomized trial, was negative, while the cabo was positive. And let's see, I mean, why? Yeah, so I think, you know, the, the, there's a couple of things that come up. So the, the first is that tevatinib probably was not as selective of a CMET inhibitor as we thought it was going in. And then the second is that cabozantinib probably actually hits CMET as well as some other pathways, and that may be part of the reason why this is positive. But at the end of the day, I mean, it's nice because cabozantinib adds another therapy that we can use as a second-line therapy. No, I totally agree. If anything, the Tevantinib, uh, and I, I like, very smart of uh, how Amit mentioned it, because if anything, the uh, uh, phase two trial uh, suggested that probably the patients that will benefit the most from the outcome in the Tevantinib are the ones that have 50%, three to four plus expression of CMAT uh, activity on their tumors, immune stains. And as such, it was maybe over understood or over interpreted that Deventinib at the end of the day is a CMET inhibitor, but it's a tyrosine kinase inhibitor. And as such, I like it's very soft and very uh, uh, smart how Amit mentioned that cabozantinib is really multi target. Actually, both are multi target. And as such, interestingly, uh, proudly when we did the cabozantinib study that was already published in the New England Journal of Medicine back in July, we specifically, and this was probably like what we contributed most to the study, we said we would like to have it for every patient. And actually, there was a discussion with the sponsor, and really we pushed for uh, 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 taking the study and uh, offering this drug for everybody, regardless of CMET expression, because we didn't know how much CMET expression is needed and how much because of the other targets, as Amit mentioned, were necessary per se. And we give a lot of credit because uh, we were definitely um, heard, and more importantly, the sponsor really contributed also to ensure that the will carry on, and of course we ended up with a positive study per se.